Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a PetSmart slash Petco haul. Generally I do my shopping at PetSmart um, for a lot of my cats, treats, and food, but today particularly, I'm not sure why, but PetSmart was out of a lot of the foods that I generally buy. Um, and so we had to stop by a Petco to just pick up some goodies. And I'm starting to actually like Petco a lot more better than PetSmart now, so we'll see. But if you like this kind of video, don't forget to give me a like a subscribe and don't forget to also comment below if you like any of these items i do a monthly haul for my cat and he's a bit spoiled i must say but i love being able to spoil my little kitty cat but anyway let's get a little less chatting and let's just go to uh pet smart slash petco and see what we can find and here is my baby boy actually before we leave he is napping he's so cute look at him what a day. <laughs> Let's make a video. What is it? Dang it. <laughs> okay. Always get him a... Let's see. A trio. Aquí estamos. Little bit. We'll get him like some of these. Since a lot of it's sold out, we'll get him. So far, this is all we have. No trio has a shortage of wet food, so I think we're just gonna get these three and go with Tiki. We might go to a different um, pet smart just to uh, see what we have an option. They have like new uh, food here I never tried, and it's called Made by Nacho Craft. Cat crafted cat food, high protein premium food. I've never tried this. Comment below if you guys tried uh, this food. I've never seen it before. It looks quite interesting. Um, the labeling is, uh, the packaging looks really cute, but yeah, I've never tried this. Duck liver cat treats, very interesting. Um, and they even have salmon ones. So for $5.99, they're a bit expensive, but they're kind of nice. I might actually grab um, the chicken recipe and see if um, my cat likes it, or this one, salmon. It's kind of interesting. We also have like these big bags. <laughs> I don't know. Comment below, guys. Anyone have tried this? Never seen this before, but it might be nice to try. These look kind of nice. Seven ninety nine. I like this one. Uh huh. Okay. We got little rats. Your love. I think this is for um, Pride Month. So it's kind of cool. Pride Month edition. This is cute. I usually get his toys here, but I just got him a new toy at PetSmart. So it might be really good to um, hold off on toys right now. <laughs> Go see a kitty. Let's see, they had a kitty here. Oh, here they are. Here's a kitty. Look at here. We have a kitty. Hello, kitty. How are ya? She seems not interested. <laughs> I think her name is Pasta. 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 Rofreya. Hi, kitty. No, not interested. So I want to let you guys know that I generally shop at PetSmart uh, due to the location where I used to live. So I recently moved to a new space and I am slowly adjusting and loving a lot more of Petco. 
And as you can see, PetSmart was sold out with a variety of different new things. I decided to jump right in and try Tiki Cat. I know a lot of people have been hyping Tiki Cat since the day one or something, but PetSmart has a lot of locations where I live, so I definitely have to readjust. <laughs> Here's me just shopping around, picking up some new goodies. I hope that everyone is having a wonderful day and I hope you guys like this kind of content. My cat has been quite a stellar uh, cat adjusting to my new environment, but I always also like to make his space as comfortable as possible whenever I'm moving around. As you can see, my cat actually really likes flat things more than anything in blankets. So my cat is gonna definitely gonna be able to <laughs> readjust to my new space where I am currently living in a smaller space than usual. <laughs> Hope you guys are liking this video. And if you haven't done so, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, a subscribe to this channel. If you like this kind of content, it means very much to me as I continue to make videos on my free time. Um, of course, I've been trying to be a lot more active lately since my move and my new work. Things have been piling up as you can imagine. But if you have a pet you really, really love, um, feel free to comment below your pet's name and their favorite toy or or their favorite treat. Don't forget to also share this to anyone who's interested in watching these kind of hauls. And of course, I've been thinking about y'all and I hope your day is going well. Um, and yeah, this time, this trip, I actually went three times to PetSmart and Petco just to get what I need. <laughs> Anyways, back to the video. All right, so the total end of my third trip, I ended up spending about $18, roughly almost $18 and some change. So about 19 if you like to add it up or round up, round down, whatever you feel comfortable. But the third trip was a lot more successful than the last two. So the first trip I actually went to a Petco and they end up having like almost a lot of stuff sold out. Um, well, actually not. It's um it wasn't everything sold out it was pet smart that was sold out so pet smart had a shortage in nutrio so if you know that brand that i've been buying nutrio uh i really like to buy the little the breakable treats or the breakable meals i mean and give my cat a portion size meals throughout the day those were all pretty much sold out i showed you in the last clip there was a few rows of stack um but anyways i decided this time to go to petco and give some of the food a try i know tiki is like probably the most uh popular brand that a lot of people recommend my cat to try and i actually end up buying a few cans and he wasn't particularly super interested in tiki it's very sad um but he ended up uh getting used to the the meat of tiki because uh the tiki the regular one, how you say the shredded chicken one, as you can see, he's, he doesn't really eat, eat it all. Like he just has a hard time finishing it. I just think the texture of the food um, is not his kind of style, but um, I'm sure he eats it enough. He doesn't always finish uh, his food when we use the dry chicken flavor for tiki. So we definitely have to scrape this all off. It's all dry already, but um, that's just kind of an insight of what my cat thought of it. I think maybe because the texture or something but here is a tiki box i actually bought it was a 12 pack and this cost about like 15 dollars, i believe it's called tiki cat lo loia i don't know it's like hawaiian flavor ones it has six flavors um tilapia sea bass succulent chicken wild salmon and chicken chicken and egg and wild salmon I picked this one personally because it was a little more, uh, I don't know, it apparently has shredded chicken and real stuff, non-GMO ingredients, and you can definitely check it out here, how it looks like. It's a very nice, uh, pa well-packaged item. I love how the package is pretty much. And just to give you guys a better look, here is the Tiki Salmon one, and it's a six flavor package. And package apparently, it's rich protein, a lot of uh, a lot of good things. It's apparently, it also has a lot of real shredded chicken. I can guarantee you that is true. When you open the package, it does look like this, the shredded chicken and everything with real broth and everything. Um, maybe my cat is not the big fan of eating shredded chicken. Uh, he likes more like a soupy kind of flavor, 
but um, opening the package, you can see I have already used two of the cans for my cat, and they were flavored, uh, no, what was it? Um, it was like macaron or something, the weird fish I never heard of, um, and, and tilapia. So see, here's a tilapia uh, one. This is how they look like. I feed my cat one of these a day and dry food in the afternoon. Um, he seems to only be able to finish one of these a day, which is kind of interesting. Um, and if you're wondering if he's sick, no, he's not sick. <laughs> I took him to the vet and he is very healthy. He's just a very uh, active slim cat but he eat free eats all throughout the day and has no problem in consuming his meals. Um, and then looking more further inside, you can see it has other, other brands called Wild Salmon and Chicken. I really like these portion sizes uh, for a cat's meal because in general, you shouldn't be overfeeding your cats because many of your cats will experience a lot of health problems if they're overweight or in serious, uh, decrement to their health pretty much if they don't have a very good eating routine so I tend to buy very good wholesome meals um, higher quality meals for my cat so he doesn't um, overeat so a lot of meals like dry food could also uh, be the reason why your cat is still hungry um, because many dry food is some of the dry food very cheap dry food uh, can leave cats uh, feeling hungry all the time but yeah, it's like feeding your kid McDonald's. Like you weren't get, you're not gonna get full on McDonald's, but it's very crappy for your health, I guess. But yeah, that's just my two cents. But um, we all know we all come from different varieties of choices. Here is actually my third haul, and I actually had to go back to uh, Petco for the third time to see if I can able to stock up on some food. Um, I actually went after a new brand, and let's see, this is a new brand called uh, a, a Weevil. Weevil. <laughs> I can't really pronounce these. Come on, correct me down in here in the comment if you know how to pronounce this. But it's really uh, apparently a family owned company. They have a lot of very uh, clean ingredients. It's grain free, gluten, BPA, cardigan free. Um, I was really curious on this brand in general because I actually ended up purchasing this uh, brand, on, uh, this, this one last haul. Um, a quick call for my cat and and this one had grilled tilapia and gravy. He loved this. He loved this. It was really good for him. He finished it up. So particularly anything with gravy, my cat is a big fan of. And um, and these ones tend to have mostly gravy in it. And I'm excited to be able to feed him this because oh, he, my cat is a very particular cat on this texture of his food. And the, the pretty much the kind of flavors these have is... Um, very new to me as well. Paulsanian barbecue, like Paulsanian barbecue. Ugh, again, I cannot speak today, but this is how it looks like. It's a decent size. It's about, let's see, oh, if I only, uh, three ounces. This is literally three ounces, and it, it's a good size for your cat. I feed one of these for my cat, and he eats dry food throughout the day and as well as some treats here and there but uh, my cat tends to be really happy on these these range from a dollar 28 or dollar 58 um oh, yeah, somewhere around there but um they are a little more expensive if you buy them singly sometimes but my cat in general tends to eat them so i get them anyways um <clears throat> And here it is, the Midwest Feast one and the Jamac and Jack. These are different, uh, different flavors. Obviously, I tend to mix things up for him. The most exciting parts is these stews or these really easy uh, eatable treats. My cat likes to eat these uh, gravy recipes because they're so much more easier. I think he likes it because of the texture and how flavorful they are. Um, I know a lot of people give these to their cats for like dinner or as a treat. I personally like to feed these as a good meal for my cat. Um, he tends to be uh, feel really happy and satisfied when he eats these. So um, we... Um, I just recently started moving towards these packages. They're a little more expensive, I gotta say. They're $1.69, $1.78. They're a little more expensive, but my cat tends to be uh, eating them as well. 
all the time. So here's a stew one. It's called Simmer Down Turkey Chicken Salmon Dinner and Gravy. This one's a different kind of style apparently. It's as you can see like it claims it is BPA, grain, gluten, and carnagenian free but um and then the ingredients actually kind of show pretty good they even show you the analysis of what it holds if only this thing could focus <laughs> so then you can see it's the analysis here it says crude protein 70 percent the fat and then as well the fiber the moisture i like to see the balance on here even tells you all the calories for your cat if your cat is overweight or experiencing any kind of problems whatever my cat's not overweight but um i like to look here in the back the real ingredients on what it has is turkey broth, turkey, chicken, salmon, nature, natural flavors, uh, top of the tarts. I just like to see the five top ingredients and see what's actually in the package. And it seems like it's actually turkey and chicken. So I was pretty happy about that. There's some of the vitamins in here that are really good for your cat if you're interested um, to look at. But comment below if you guys ever tried this brand. Um, let me know if your cat uh, likes this. This is located in Petco. And I was just super curious to see if it worked. Um, and my cat likes it. Here's another package called Chicken and Duck Gravy Recipe. Uh, and this one's not a, this is not the, no, it's not the stew one. This is just a regular one. Um, and it seems like the cat in the picture is really happy. <laughs> um, but looking down here, it tells you all the analysis of the package. Uh, again, I like to serve one of these for my cat. And he's like, eats this really quick. Um, Here's another flavor of the same brand called Mac and Jack Sam. And then moving on, I have a another stew called Turkey Chicken Salmon and Gravy Recipe. So here's is a really good um, option for uh, if your cat's interested in many things. Oh, here he is. Key, you like your new treats? Yeah, you like your new treats? Say hello to the camera. What a big good, what a good boy. Um, he's always really excited when I <laughs> I get him some new meals. So, <laughs> you good boy? Yeah, you good boy? That's right, huh? Want to tell all your fans that you eat well? <laughs> no? <laughs> he's like, no, I don't eat crap. <laughs> but here's some other ones called Tiki Velvet. You know what? How about we try one out on the stuff? the call we'll, we'll we'll open one of these and see if he likes one um and um here's another tiki one as well like this one i guess we're gonna go for the tiki one because he's rubbing up on it whoops he's be dropping my tripod everywhere but this is how the food looks like the tiki <laughs> looks gross right <laughs> don't mind the dirty areas my cat's a dirty eater but um <laughs> it looks like slime so we'll see how this <laughs> um gets eaten throughout the day and we'll check back <laughs> the, in the afternoon if my cat likes it with that saying um i will definitely rate this one so far i've only tried two of the flavors um i would definitely rate this package uh, maybe a three out of five because some of the flavors in here my cat is not a big fan of and particularly uh let's see it was i think it was sea bass that he wasn't really interested it's a sea bass recipe with sea bass cosome um he wasn't a big fan of that one and another one that actually had not part of the package on tiki it was called a Mac and Jack and Sam, or um, Sam, no, mackerel, mackerel and skipjack tuna, just uh, the dry version and, and like the shredded kind, my cat wasn't a big fan of that one. But like um, all the rest of the flavors of like salmon or anything with gravy, my cat tends to be really happy with. Chicken that's too dry, he tends to not eat it. <laughs> um, but again, uh, my cat is a very particular cat um, and it's way, this, another thing I actually bought before I forget and end this video is that I actually bought a bag of Nutrio and this is Nutrio Essential Wholesome Dry Food. I recently been purchasing this meal of dry food if you guys are interested. Um, apparently this has 
has whole essential complete daily vitamins nutrition. The bag is about $15 or $16 in my location on the west coast. This is being sold in Pestmar I believe and um, it's, it seems to be very well and very clean to the product. It is also non-GMO. It's a uh, high quality protein as the number one source, uh, good suppliers and partnership, high quality ingredients. It has rich flavors and it has no chicken by prop meals or corn or wheat or soy uh, protein. And it has artificial flavors, colors, and no artificial flavors or colors. So it has a very good uh, balance for your cat to stay very uh, healthy and digestive, I guess. Um, but my cat seems to really like it. This comes in the flavor of salmon and brown rice recipe. So, um, and it gives you a little bit of instructions for how much to feed your cat throughout the day. Uh, my cat is a very healthy, a uh, very active cat, so he weighs about 10 pounds, uh, maybe 11 because he's been eating a little chunky, but like, uh, he's a very, 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 uh, not, not overweight cat. He's extremely active, but anyways, and that was pretty much my haul trip for today. If you like this kind of video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, a like, a share, and so sorry it took some time to <laughs> make this video. I've been running around like crazy lately, and um, obviously I took three trips to three different stores to get this going, but um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and a like if you like this kind of content. Don't forget to sub or uh, yeah, <laughs> chill my channel and I wish you guys a very, very happy week in summer. Um, please uh, rest up and stay cool. I'll see you guys next time. Until next time, bye.